Hello and warm welcome to this wonderful presentation about multiple item creation with all its attributes in Business Central. This presentation is brought to you by Brightpoint Infotech. Brightpoint Infotech is a consultancy firm with over 15 years experience with its head office in Fort Fordadale, Florida. We have many qualified consultants all over the world with specializations in many of the softwares. Business Central, both on-premise and on-cloud. We have implemented CRM. We have implemented HR. We have implemented Power BI, SharePoint, Azure, and many others. Please feel free to reach out to us so that we can help in consulting, implementing, upgrading, migrating, testing, application integration, and hosting. These are just among the few things that we do. And Brightpoint is currently in consultant services with all the arch strategic, architectural, operational implementation that you will require. We will give it to you. Why Brightpoint? We will help to improve your IT, enhance your strategic partnership and vision, improve employee efficiency, improve employee satisfaction, and we are Microsoft part, uh, partner. So with this few, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to usher in the presentation so that we can understand how important it is to create multiple items with a click of a button. Thank you so much. Please let's dive into the presentation. You will find the home page, which is this. And uh, for this particular one, I'm using Kronos company. So if we are to create the items, we shall go to sales, or we can use this direct link. If you go to sales, you'll also still find items. And then when you click on items, you'll have the top menu, which is search, new, delete, process, discounts, and request for approval. So for the purpose of our presentation, click on new. And then we have templates to deal with. So we click on this template of items. So after clicking on this template of items, it will open for us. Of course, the numbering series of this item is 1019, and this is picking straight away from the setup. The item description name we're going to give is going to be Bright, Bright Point Infotech item. Now, the, the new customization that we've done to enable you to create this is we have introduced a field called, is this a configurable item? So depending on whichever kind of industry or farm that we will be dealing with, we can customize this to change it and say, is this a parent item? Is this uh, the production? item depending on the words that the firm would want to take then i will enter the upc code this is going to be test six a random number test six upc code test six is a random number then i shall scroll down to make sure that I populate all the relevant fields. And here I have the tax group I'm going to put as non-taxable. I still scroll down to see what replenishment types I have. The planning section. Depending on the need of the company, some of this may be empty, some of this may be filled, the warehouse. Now the beauty about this is that all these 
specific details we are giving the parent item here shall be duplicated onto the items that we are going to subsequently create from this parent item. So then after validating and verifying the information that have been checking through all those tabs, I'll now come back to the an item tab and say, is this a configurable item? I'll say yes, it is. At that point, it will initiate. It will initiate the attributes that we want to create these items from. The permutations and combinations that we're using are so far three. So we're using a combination and permutations of three, which is color, style, and size. Upon clicking on color, it will open for me the item values of color. So which of these colors do I want to create for these items? I want to create for red, orange, yellow, then I also want to create something for style. Yeah, those are just notifications. I want to create for three styles. One, two, three. I also want to create something for size. So I scroll back up. and click on size and it will also give me the attribute values for size extra large large and medium with the use of combinations and permutations that we've put in the system for each of these values I've selected three three of them so that means three times three times three I should be able to create bright point item 27. At this juncture, I will go straight on top and say use the menu process and the system will ask me create items from configuration. I think that is what I need. I'll say yes. Create items from configuration item, yes. The system successfully has created 27 simple items. This verifies what I told you, that three times three times three gives us 27 items. So I'll say thank you very much. At this point, I'll go back to the item list to go and look for my particular items with the bright point item as the name to confirm whether they're 27. I will come and do a simple search on the item list. All the 27 items are actually created. You can see with the permutations and combinations with just a single click. Ladies and gentlemen, you can create as much as you want with only one click. This is the customization Brightpoint has looked forward to bringing and we currently and we've implemented it for many of the industries manufacturing assembly wholesale of course we can open one item card and you'll be able to see that it depicts exactly the information that is in the parent yes ladies and gentlemen this is how simple Brightpoint has made creating multiple items from a single item has become. We'd like to thank you so much for paying attention and listening to us. At Brightpoint, we look forward to making you achieve your objectives and dreams. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Reach us on brightpointinfotech.com. Thank you.